Hey. Yo. Yo. Yo, yo what's yo, good, yo, man? Yo, yo. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? How is everyone doing? Whoop. Oh, we got 12 in the chat already. What's up, guys? How we doing? Right off the start. That's good. That's great. That's uh that's fantastic. Uh looks like everything on my end is running good. I was worried about that a little bit. Looks looks good. Okay. Anyway, guys, yeah, we were over on the other channel last week. We weren't even supposed to go live last week. We still did it. Still went live. Yep. Because we're overachievers. That's what we do. We just uh mm -hmm. we just do that type of stuff. We're just next level thinkers. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's mm. what it is. Adam, what's up? Adam. Dude, I'm headed to, dude, I'm headed down your way very soon. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. I I'm so excited. Uh anyway, I guess we can go ahead and get into that. How's how's your week been, man? How how's your week? How was it? Good. Good. Good week. Anything anything to report? Uh oh, are we doing this are we gonna do the, are we gonna do that on the pod or are we gonna do that on the this on the pod? Or right now we're gonna do it on the pod. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I, I guess we have to actually do yeah. the intros and stuff. Yeah, I figured I'd just be like, hey, news, move on, yeah. moving on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But, yeah, I mean, other than that news. Which <laughs> oh, we have to cover one question already well, before we start. <laughs> Megaboid with the $2.22 super chat <laughs> asks, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Megaboid. Uh, <laughs> oh my god look he guessed it already adam guessed it yes i am i'll talk about it once we actually start uh, the podcast yeah yeah, yes. yeah yeah uh damn good guess dude <laughs> that's crazy adam knows what's up yeah clearly yeah so chat real quick uh there's there's uh, 14 or so of you guys in here uh you know how we do it uh, once we start this, we normally don't talk to the chat all that much. Um, if you have a relevant question or comment that you want us to to say during the podcast, all you have to do is leave it while we're talking about it with a super chat. Obviously, that'll get my attention. I'll look over. We'll take care of it, of it then, as long as it has to do with what we're talking about. If, right. uh, if you have a question that you want to just drop in and it maybe doesn't, uh, you can also leave the super chat at any time, and we will get to those uh, either after or when it becomes relevant. Other than that, man, I mean, uh, let's uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start this. Ooh, to get it going. We're already late. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, we're late. We we're late for a it's reason. Cool. We're yeah, late we for have, a reason. We, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> good, it's good. It's, it's really a good it. late today. You guys are. Hopefully, it goes well. Yeah. All right, go for it, man. Start it up. See also, you on the other side, man. See I'm, you on the other I'm side. three. Just for the chat, just to know while we're recording this, I'm uh, I'm th three mules. Well, two mules deep, and this is number three. So you didn't tell me about that. If I'd have <laughs> known we were gonna come on here already <laughs> sauced, I would have started drinking. I'm not I'd, sauced. I'd, no, I cracked one Bud Light like as we started. <laughs> no, I'm not sauced. I'm just uh, I'm happy. Loose. I'm, happy. I'm loose. All right. If Kari. there's any. With the four ninety nine, thank you very much, man. <laughs> Have right, a good one, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate man. you. All right, now we're gonna ignore you. Goodbye. Hey guys, welcome everyone to the Drip and Jeep podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host Drip Media Gaming. We were recording this podcast live over on YouTube.com/slash Drip Media Gaming. If you want to check out the live stream of this podcast, make sure to head over to Drip's YouTube every Friday at 9.30 Eastern Time. If you want to listen to the audio version of this podcast, make sure to search Drip and Jeep anywhere you can find a podcast, including our YouTube. And with that being said, what's up, Drip? How you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing good. I'm doing fantastic as always. Every week you ask me and every week I answer with the same thing. I'm doing good. I'm that's, doing well. That's, that's what not, I should say. Because I'm doing good, I don't think it's correct. I think I'm supposed to say I'm Doing, doing good. Well. I don't care about correct English. I don't. I don't. Deal. I don't really either. Either way. Either way. <laughs> I'm. I'm feeling fine. Uh, things are good. Uh, got two videos out this week, so that's a plus. There you go. And and let me just say, you know, you may not be getting the response that you want on your most recent video that released today, but dude, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is an absolute like amazing video man it's just I, well it's i appreciate it i appreciate it. i put some extra time there's a little bit of extra elbow grease that goes into 
to videos like that. So I, I appreciate it. Thank you. If any of you guys like hardware reviews of, 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 of particularly switch stuff, he's the guy like go to his YouTube channel. He's got past stuff and he just dropped I need, another honestly, banger. I need to start today. doing more of it. I need to yeah. stop straying away from it so much. That's why they don't get as many views is because I don't do them anymore. Yeah. They're, 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 they're the best like i've never seen better b-roll well, I, I appreciate i appreciate it I, I did i did try really hard on that one it's, <laughs> it's not doing that well in the views but whatever it's fine totally fine other than that um i i don't know what did, before i got a bunch of stuff what did yeah. you do this week uh i got a job this week <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not i listen i'm not i'm not like super excited about it i'm as excited as anybody else who Got a job. Like, I don't want a Dang, job. Man. But, I mean, it's, you have to take it, right? Excited or not, it's more of like, at this point, you know, after after a pandemic, it's more yeah. of like a, just a relief. It's just yeah. kind of like a, okay. Yes, yes like, it let's, is. Let's start getting back to to normal type things. Yeah. But, but you said, you did tell me that the job, just so everybody knows, it's not going to affect his streaming schedule. <laughs> it's not going to affect the podcast. No. So... That was the main requirement for me was that, you know, I need, I need flexible. I need, first of all, I need decent pay. I mean, that's number one, but I need yeah, flex, flexible, I need flexible hours and, and like reasonable. I need a part-time basically is what I needed. And yes, th- like the whole, like good pay and, f- and, 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 and f- uh, part-time is not, doesn't always go together. So I, I found right. a rare, oh, and yeah. also this place, it's about 10 minutes from my house. It's super close. Like that's it was huge. like the perfect situation. For, for me also the hours i, I get done by 3 30 in the afternoon like so like that like it does not affect anything pretty much so it's good 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 stuff here and all that means is i get to invest more into the into the the podcast and the stream time yeah. and money so it's good stuff yeah for sure for sure is that it anything else anything else to report uh i mean like besides gaming related no that's it yeah i mean well yeah we'll talk about that in a little bit okay yeah. well i I went to the movies. Oh! I'll tell you, I don't know if I've talked about this on the podcast. Or not. I, I don't know if I have, so I'll make it quick. But I did sign up for the AMC. Um, I think it's called like the A-List or something like that. But it's it's like $20 a month. And you get to go to three movies a week. A week. Not a month. Ooh. A week. So, I mean, I, I looked. I, a regular movie ticket is so if I go to two movies, I've already paid pretty much the $20, but I have the ability to go to like, you know, 12 to 15 movies a month for $20. That, that is pretty awesome. Now I have a question for you. Is that, was that there before the pandemic or is this a it result was. of it the was, pandemic? No, no, no. This was there before the pandemic. I just, I, I always wanted to sign up for it and never did. But after this and, you know, being with my position in AMC stock, I just want to do what I can to make sure that the company's successful. So I want to give them some money. But the fact that I am an AMC shareholder, uh, when I went to the movies last night, uh, they were like, here, here's your free large popcorn. Thank you for being an AMC shareholder. There you go. (laughs) All right, because they they scanned my little thing. And when I signed up, they asked if I was a shareholder. And I was like, yes, yes, I am. Do they ask everybody if they're a shareholder? When you sign up for the entire thing, yeah, they ask. They just ask, like, are you a, do you hold AMC stock? Gotcha. What about if I just go uh, to AMC, like, tomorrow, and I'm not, I'm not a part of that program? Do I still get my free popcorn? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it works. Yo, but anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on that. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, let me get that free popcorn. Anyway, I went to see Boss Baby 2. Not as good as the first one. <laughs> Sequels That's never all usually are not not terrible, but I me mean, Alec Baldwin's hilarious, man. Yeah. Alec Baldwin as a businessman baby is literally <laughs> the role he was born to play. That's saying something it's because uh, Thirty Rock was born to play Thirty Rock was is an amazing show. Okay, he plays the same dude. He plays <laughs> yes. that same dude. It's the same guy, only he's a baby. Is Liz it's Lemon like, in thing. that movie? Because if he's not, if she's no. not, then no, she's then not. it's disappointing. He's not. She's not, but uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's good. So uh, I did that. But today, big day today, you guys know I'm a huge NASCAR fan, real big NASCAR fan. And I just found out today, one of my very good friends, he just got an RV and he's been itching to take it out somewhere. Called me literally right before the podcast. and was like, dude, 
this is the price are you down obviously i was like yes i'm down so we are going we're taking his motor home driving down to talladega staying in the infield not just staying at the track staying in the infield at talladega super speedway in uh in the beginning of october so i am like stupid stupid pumped about that i'm i'm i've never been there i've been to a lot of tracks i've not been to talladega talladega is like one of those uh like bucket list things you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. i'm i'm very excited very 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 excited for that so awesome dude uh there, other stuff happened this week but i don't i don't know Th- that that kind of just made me forget about the rest of the stuff that happened this week <laughs> that's all that, that matters was really cool <laughs> yeah yeah what what are you, you what are you drinking tonight sir i i i'm very interested in my drink tonight because i've never had it and i've never seen it first question is it bud or is it bush apple because you mentioned that last week dude it's not damn it <laughs> can i tell that story can i tell yeah, that story for sure so I told you last week I called I called the distributor about the the Bush Light Apple and they were like, "All right, our stuff was delayed, but it'll be here next week, so you should see it in stores next week." I was like, "Fair enough." I didn't want to be that weirdo who calls back again this week. Like, <laughs> "Where's the Bush where's the Bush Light Apple?" So instead of doing that, I I ended up um just going I, i've been going to these three stores like right by my house just if i pass them i go in see if it's in there yeah. leave just so i'd have it for tonight uh then uh today was a little different story i decided i needed it i needed it for tonight because i wanted it to be my beer of the week yeah. so uh before i got home to finish my editing i drove all over for an hour and a half I even I went to I went to a place called Kingwood. You don't know where that's at. Nobody else knows where that's at. But if you knew how far away that is from my house, you would be very disappointed in me that I drove that far to see <laughs> if they had Bush Apple. <laughs> so I go there. They didn't have it. You know, the, the pretty much the, the ride of shame home with no Bush Apple. <laughs> there was one more gas station on the way back. And it's, you know kingwood's like it's kind of in the woods so it's you know king of the woods i guess there you go yeah. uh, so they have some beer there i didn't really see and this is a local beer it looks like didn't really look too much into it but i saw the the flavor the the shade of beer we have here and i said yeah this is definitely uh this is definitely what i'm gonna do so it's called uh the screech owl Ooh. as you can see here the screech owl this is uh wild wild and wonderful like you know west virginia wild wonderful west virginia that's like the the thing uh wild and wonderful strawberry ale Ooh, right yeah uh brewed and packaged by screech owl brewing in brewston mills west virginia brewston mills is like if you got on the interstate and went to the top of the hill that's like a mile past my house. That's Brewston Mills. It's it's up okay. there a little bit, but it's it's very, very close. I could drive to this brewery if it's actually brewed there. I didn't know there was a brewery there, but I could drive there in five minutes. Awesome. Hey, a brewery yeah. you can drive to in five minutes is is good to I me. I didn't know it was there. Dude, that's the thing about where I live, though. Uh, there's breweries. I, I have two in Morgantown, two in downtown that are like right beside each other that are their own breweries. They make their own beer. Uh, there's another one uh, kind of closer to where I grew up. Like if I took a back road down there, there's another one on the way. There's, there's breweries everywhere around me. There's a nice. bunch of them. This is one I didn't know about. So this is mine. What do you got? Uh, tonight I'm drinking a, uh, a Jeep special. Uh, I've been making these <laughs> since I've been drinking alcohol. Cause at first in my younger al- drinking days, wasn't big on beer i mean i've grown into i actually really like beer now but back in the day i didn't really enjoy a beer too much uh so i was trying to find alternatives without being you know what some would consider less of a man yeah <laughs> something you know something like that so i uh i stumbled that i'm really good at making moscow mules 
you in the stream have probably been seeing me sip on this for the last few minutes. Uh, yeah, this is my copper cup. Actually, it's an awesome copper cup. It has my initial on it. Like my parents got me this for uh oh, wow. for my for, for, uh, for wow. Christmas. Wow. wow. Yes. It's like my, my last name initial is on there and my last name as well. And it's it's awesome. Uh, and it a Moscow Mule uh, Moscow Mule, if you're not familiar, is vodka, ginger beer, and lime. And there you go. This is uh this is this is just that. Usually though, when I make a Moscow Mule, I use frozen fruit as the ice. And it's just delicious that's, afterwards. That's next level right there. Oh yeah. That is dude. next level. And, and okay, I, what kind of frozen fruit though? Which fruits? Whatever we had. You know, it, maybe it started with like, you know, strawberries. And then yeah. it's like, oh, maybe some we, pineapple we only, chunks. Yeah, we only have mixed fruit to tip this week. So, okay, fine. Well, I'll throw some mixed fruit. So you in got there. like blueberries or something, or like but, black. Oh, yeah. man. But oh, when man. we get really. That makes me hungry when it, a little bit. <laughs> when we get really. When I would get really creative with it, I would add other juices as well. So I'd throw like a splash of pineapple juice, a splash of uh, apple juice. I don't know. I would get creative with it. And like I made some really good concoctions. And uh, yeah, this is just a normal, simple Moscow meal. But it's all about the ratio. You have to get the ratio right for a good Moscow mule. It, you, I, you, you know, this would, they would charge you $15 for the restaurant for this. Oh like this, yeah. I was going to say, this it's, ain't, not a, it's not a cheap drink. If yeah. you go out and get one, this ain't no, you know, this ain't no $5 beer Moscow mule or $5, uh, uh, bar Moscow mule. This is like a, I went to a nice fancy restaurant. Your pinky's up. Your pinky's up. It's, it's simple ingredients, but your pinky's up while you're drinking it. Like pinky up. All right. Well, <laughs> Uh, you know what yours tastes like. I'm going to go ahead and try the wild and wonderful strawberry ale right now. I'm very curious. It smells it smells really good. It smells like a sour. I figured that's what it would be. Yeah. So, uh, 6.2% alcohol. Ooh, nice. I need to be careful here. Uh, and I also didn't, you can drink. Uh, I, I did not mention that I'm also three, two, two, and then this one deep right now. So, <laughs> I'm a little tipsy. Okay, it's not a sour. No? Not a sour. What is it? Hang on. I don't know. I can't explain Ooh. it. It's it's I went in expecting sour and didn't get sour, so I was kinda of, kinda of like pushed yeah, yeah. me back for a second. Oh, for I gotta sure. take another one knowing what I'm in for now. It's going in for another swig. I don't like your facial expressions. <laughs> you got this like little it's, you have a sour face on your on your face, but it's, it's not a weird. sour. It's weird. Hmm. It's it's weird. It's weird. That's it's the, like, like that's the, the strawberries f- there. The strawberries. It tastes like a. God, it tastes like a. Like, I feel like I can taste like the. The tree, the the, the bush, <laughs> the strawberry was like, like mm, picked from like uh, wood. Like the, maybe not so good. <laughs> it's it's like I can I can taste the strawberry, but I can also taste like a tree. I don't, yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but it's. It's very strange. Oh, well, uh, speaking of trees, uh, there are no trees in this game that's upcoming for Nintendo. Uh, what? Two weeks from now? Yeah, exactly. No two trees. weeks from now. No trees. Because it's it's in the there, sky. Get it? Get it? But Get there it. are trees. No, <laughs> there are trees. I was I trying to do you. a segue. You. Okay. you ruined my segue. Wow, worst segue ever. <laughs> oh my god, so bad. Oh man! Oh, well, you do the oh. segue then. Go ahead, you do it. I mean, speaking of uh, things that fly like owls, <laughs> <laughs> loft wings. Loft wings. <laughs> Those are in. Yeah. A game that we're about to talk a little bit about yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Still bad. Still bad. Yeah, it was great. At least, it was it's, at least what best. I said was true. So much better than the tree one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is weird beer. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put a pin in the beer thing. Yeah, because I wanted to go a little bit longer, but I think we should just come back to it after I have a little bit more of it. Yeah, keep drinking it, and then uh, we'll talk about some Skyward Sword stuff. Very strange. It's very strange. Uh, yeah. So you go for it. Uh, Skyward Sword. We got today, which is hilarious. After uh, after everything, I I, I kind of want to start here with this. It's really funny because somebody asked me, um. I can't remember if it was on like after a podcast or if it was on one of my streams, but someone was like, are we going to get any more quality of life stuff for Skyward Sword? And I was like, probably not at this point. Like it does not make any sense for them to tell us everything that they've changed in the game at the last second. But wouldn't you know it, Nintendo comes right along and they're like, well, he doesn't think that's going to happen. So we're definitely going to do that. 
<laughs> we're definitely doing that. We're definitely going to hold all that back uh, until the very end and then tell them all the things that we fix, which, hey, this, this is the list. I'll, I'll give it that. This is the list. This is literally every single thing that people ask for. This is it. I, 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 don't, I don't know if there's another one that's not on the list that I'm not thinking of. But let, let's just start going through it here real quick. Uh, optional help from Phi. I'm calling her Phi. I don't care if anybody else calls her Fee. It's Phi. Whatever you uh, want. So you can ever only appear in cutscenes or when uh, necessary. And otherwise, she has to be summoned. So instead of her just popping up all the time and bugging you, or if you're having trouble with a puzzle, she'll just try, you know, she'll try to, like, do it for you. Right. You can turn all that off, which is probably people's biggest problem with this game. When I when I talk to anyone about this game, that's the thing they always say, like, God, Fi is just the worst, the absolute yeah. worst. Yeah. So that's fixed. That's that's good. I mean, we already know this one, but enhanced frame rate. It runs at 60 frames per second, right. resulting in smoother gameplay is what they say here. Very true. On, on Nintendo's uh, website. Yeah. Um, my question is, before we jump into the next one, yeah. do you think this is actually going to run at a solid 60 frames per second? I, b I believe so. I do. That would be really cool if it did. If it was just like... 60 all the way? 60. I, I, yeah. Honestly, I expect it. I expect it. If we don't they, get it, like, I feel cheated a little bit. It was literally the first thing... It was the first thing they said. Yeah. It seems, yeah, I, I agree. Like, if it doesn't just run at a solid 60, at least, like, 95% of the time. Yeah. I feel like, why, why are you making such a big deal about it then? Exactly. If it's, like, 35% 60 FPS, 75, yeah, 50 it, it, FPS, yeah. and then, like, some, it dips in the 40s, even, that, that's, like, a no. No, 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 no. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. As big of a deal as they've made this, it better be... Like yeah. ninety percent of the time, I mean, you know, an occasional dip here and there. Yeah, exactly. It's a whatever. Thing. It yeah. happens. It's the switch. But th they've talked about it so much now. It's like, okay, this, you better, you better give me sixty then. If that's what it is. <laughs> if we average like, well, I'll say I'll give it like a over under fifty. Well, actually, let's we'll, we'll play a little mini game. Over under fifty three frames per second average for the entire game, the whole time. Over under fifty three. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with that. I, I take that. I will take the under because I'm going to guess because it's the Switch if and because it's that, Nintendo. I'm saying if I got that, yeah, if you, you averaged it out through the whole game yeah. and it was 53 frames per second, I'd be fine with that. But what do you, what do you think about the over-under? Do you think we're going to get – is it going to average over 53 frames per second for the whole game? It's hard to say because, uh, you know, like I said, they're, they're, they're telling us they, – that's the first thing they told us, literally one of the yeah. first things they told us about this game is that it runs at 60 frames per second. I, I won't bother giving my opinion because Alex from Swiss Corner will probably give me a bunch of crap for that because I apparently I don't know how to see frame rates. So we're just going to forget my opinion on that. <laughs> yeah, we'll stay away from the technicals for this one. <laughs> Fine. All right. Uh, uh, next up. I, I hope I hope it does. I mean, yeah, I hope yeah. it's 60 frames across the board. All right. So the next thing is you can fast forward dialogue. So uh, text shown on screen can be fast forward by pressing the B button. Um, that's nice. good, especially for people who have already played the game yeah. and don't need to do this. Like, I'm not going to be doing that. I mean, I guess fast forward through it to, to get it to go to the end so I can read all of it really quick. That's one thing. I'm not going to be like, you know, button mashing to get through it. I want to read it. I, I haven't gone through this game myself all the way through. So I'm really looking forward to taking my time with this. Yeah. And then what goes um, along with that is skippable cutscenes as well uh yes yeah. so you can you can we skip through there. we are getting there we are getting there uh, okay all right sorry. I, have a, I got a list okay uh so here's another thing this is a big one too this is another one that not a lot of people talk about but i guess this was a huge problem in the original version of the game uh streamlined item information i guess you know how in a zelda game like the first time you get something like the first time you get let's say oh yes a blue rupee yeah 
it'll be like, oh, this is a blue rupee. It's worth this much. This is the blah, blah, blah. And it takes a second and says, that's what it is. But it yeah. never happens again. Yeah. I guess that literally happened in Skyward Sword with everything. Every time you got it. <laughs> I can so relate. Taking that out. I can relate in Breath of the Wild for us newer Zelda players. It's like when you pick up your first Bokoblin bat. It's like no, 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 no. It's like Bokoblin yeah. bat. Here's a big description. Yeah, and every time you pick it, it up, yeah, 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 instantly picks it up. Right. Yeah. Then they don't do it again. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that that's what we're looking at with this now. So it'll probably be like the first one you see it. Like that's what all the other Zelda games are like. I mean, that's it's weird that it was like that in this one that it just showed you everything. Yeah, it's weird. Uh uh do, 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 do. next one is skippable cutscenes. yes so you can literally just hit b or no i'm sorry you can hit minus you get the minus button and completely skip cutscenes. so obviously this is something i'm not going to be doing um but i guess if you die and then there's a cutscene that you have to go through again and watch it you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if you've already seen it once, you don't really want to sit through it again, I guess. Or, you know, maybe there's an animation or something where like if you're fast traveling or something like that, that is nice that you can just hit the, the minus button and, uh, and uh, skip that, which yeah. is good. Yeah. So uh, what else do we have? auto saves this is a definite big one this is one um i've noticed even uh twilight princess hd doesn't have auto save like it'll give you the option every once in a while it'll pop up and be like hey do you want to save now like since you're in this area do you want to save like, oh yeah like yeah i'm glad they do that because i totally forget i totally forget to save all the time so they are adding auto save in this so periodically throughout the game even if you're not at a save point, you will have auto saves happening in the background. That, I mean, all this stuff is really good quality of life stuff. That is the definition of quality of life to me. Like non auto saves, and now it has auto save. Yeah. The definition of quality more, of life. There's one more. Uh, and this is another one, especially in Zelda games. I, like I said, this is a game I haven't got all the way through, but I have done the tutorial. I did get all the way through the tutorial, and it is good god it's long and it is <laughs> it is just blah 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 stop talking like oh my god it's like oh dude it's bad yeah uh you can literally skip tutorial dialogue all of it that's good so you know for uh for anybody who knows what they're doing already they can just breeze right through this stuff or if you have an idea of how to do it and you don't want to sit and listen you can just get right through it i mean honestly other than not, you know, locking one of the coolest upgrades behind a $25 Amiibo, I don't know what else they could have done here. I mean, they could have added stuff, right? Yeah. They could have like, added the dungeon. Like, they didn't yeah. do that. That sucks. But that's like quality of life, though. That's just more content. It's extra. It's extra. Yeah, that's extra content. I mean, but other than, other than you know, actually adding something, I don't see what else they could have done. What, what they did? Now, here's my, Go ahead. Here's my question to you. Mm -hmm. Why? Why have they waited two weeks, two weeks to release to tell us this stuff when this is literally all everybody's been talking about? Do you want to be this good? This has been the controversy <laughs> since the beginning. So why? Do you want to be good reporters? Or do you don't want to be uh, two dudes who are being real with each other. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, we're, we're dude. We're, we're just two dudes. Yeah. Uh, they, they just, hey, everyone who thinks they didn't just add this in the last two weeks. Oh, you think? No Everyone, way, if you, dude. If no you way. Don't think, too much. If it's you too much. don't no think way. that they didn't add this crap in them right away after all this controversy to boost these sales up, because listen, the people weren't going to buy this game if they weren't if there weren't any quality of life. People were already going back on. I'm not going. I'm canceling my pre-order. I'm not going to pre-order. Uh, I'm not going to go buy it. You think Be so? You yes. really think so, dude? I, mean, maybe. I am not naive. <laughs> okay. I'm like, not either, but that's a ton of work, man. Is it though that's to add a, a button to add work. a button to a to a dialogue popping up to just skip to the net? That's not a lot of work. That's it not a lot. Is, Let's be real, dude. Let's be real. Uh, the whole po the whole port in in the grand scheme of things wasn't a lot of work. 
It didn't do much besides improve frame rate, uh, 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 make it compatible with the Switch. What else did they do? They, I mean, this could they, they did it now. They did it recently. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say on maybe some some of this, you may be right. Like some what? You gotta be specific. Like with there's. Me. What do you think that they did add? But what do you think that that was already there before, but they just didn't tell us? Because why would they not tell us? Hey, hey, guys, all know. you people who hated the tutorial like you, Drip, who were, it was super long. Well, wasn't hey. that? Yeah, well, that's my, that was my concern with Twilight Princess, the, the long tutorial. I mean, how many, how long did it take me to get through? We, I'm just starting streaming it again. How long <laughs> did it take me to get through the tutorial? Two, two streams? Pretty much, to get yeah. The tutorial? Yeah. It's insane. That's absolutely insane, man. Come on. That's ridiculous. So when they want to like wave that little flag, wrong. like, "Hey guys, yeah. look at we look at the quality of life stuff we added." We we we. They didn't do that until now. Well, maybe maybe that was their plan all along. Like we'll we'll get our last bit of uh, pre orders and you know hype with this. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe this isn't it. Maybe there's something else they'll tell us next week. Or in September. It's... Oh my god! Shut up! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> podcast over i'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> no but i mean who knows there could be like another thing they could tell us next week like oh this is also in it like right. one week before like, they could bam if they do that they then, then i'd be more on board with believing that they didn't just add this all that this was second. the plan okay yeah. well we'll see what happens but uh there is one thing that's st that's still missing from this game uh it's a big deal. It's a really, really big deal. And I'm st I'm getting more worried and more worried. The more information that comes out about this game, I get more and more worried. Uh, I don't think this game has... I don't think it has controller support. I don't think this game has pro controller support at all. I think you're either playing uh, docked motion controls or you're playing on the switch light or you're playing handheld i don't think you can use a controller i know i see people in the chat already saying it does it does it does i have i have lots of uh lots of information to tell you that at this point that's not a true statement you cannot show me anything because i've looked for hours at this point i've literally been looking for hours for something to show me yes let me see the pro controller or something that says Yes, pro controller can be used. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Now I'm gonna go find these here. Give me one second. Uh, while you're finding those, I just want to say uh, I just heard a firework, and I want to inform anyone, especially the audio listeners. Stream, you're not oh, gonna yeah. you're not gonna hear it very much because the software is so good. Audio listeners, you might hear a boom here or there. Just want to let you know that that's fireworks. Jeep can't control that in Jeep's basement. Sorry, it's not, it's yeah. not Jeep Studio. Yeah, I can hear him out here too. It, hey man, it's Fourth of July weekend. It's yeah. all right. Uh, now I see July. people saying stuff about the uh, the pre order page, and that's not true. All it says is it supports docked mode. It does not say anything about controllers. It does not say anything about a controller. It says it supports docked mode. That is it. Uh, so with that debunked. Uh, let me find the wording here. Now, this is on Nintendo's website on the, the product page, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm going to read it to you. It's the eShop officially says Pro Controller supported. Okay, I'm going to look at the eShop because if it does, then that'll be the first place I've seen it. Yeah, if it says it on the eShop... I, I want to see it, it literally say that. I, I'll look in a second. Uh, I didn't think to pull that upstream, so you guys aren't going aren't gonna to see it, but hopefully Drew can find it here and, and inform us. Uh, we, we, yeah. I will say, while he's doing that, there are some articles out there, you know, co to the contrary, where people are saying, yes, controller support. But I've seen that. I yeah. saw someone say that, but then they link to a website to say, oh, it says it right here. But I look at it, and I'm like, that says absolutely nothing about a pro controller. Nothing. Yeah. That says nothing about a pro controller. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm going to look, but right here it says, uh, newly added button-only controls let you play your way, including in handheld mode and on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. Specifically doesn't say That's controller. from the product page. 
why don't they say or with a pro controller because that seems like a very obvious thing to say doesn't it it does they just don't say it and they refrain from saying it literally all over but i looked on the european page too because that's where that's where the one uh, website that i found said that it says pro controller uh, that, that they were like oh it says it on the website and i was like okay yeah I'll click exactly where they told me to click and I'll go look and I'm reading through it. And I'm like, this does not say pro controller support. All right. Let's see if I, let's see if we, wait, who knows the chat's telling me right now, we can totally debunk this right now. If so, I'm going to be really happy because I've been really worried about this. Like, let's say that we get this game and there really is no, no pro pro controller support because i'm telling you it's nowhere i have looked i've been i now this is one place i haven't looked because i've been looking on online on my computer on the nintendo website so i have not mm. gone to the actual eShop yeah. on the switch i was gonna suggest I've that been, go to the actual eShop and see i've been there online and it says nothing i've literally looked at it and then you know what else i look for because this will always tells you tell you too i've been looking for uh screenshots of the uh the game case but the back. Yeah, yeah. Because it'll say it on the back, but I can't find those either. Uh, the eShop will tell you for sure. Because in any eShop game that it has pro controller support, uh, even or Joy-Con it either, it. it'll it'll put a picture of it. It'll, okay. it'll be a picture of a, a pro controller and only a picture of Joy-Cons. Okay, we're going to find out right now. Because I'm telling you what, if it does, I'm going to be so happy because... Uh, yeah. And and then that that's going to uh, that's going to open up a whole other part of this conversation again. Yeah. Uh... Hey, big big one in the chat! Look out! Big we big just, one. Uh, we just reviewed their controller today. Hey, what's up? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Another controller, guys. Let's see here. Uh, you know, and we could talk about this in another episode as well. While you're looking, uh, in another episode. I think that's a when games don't support Pro Controller, it bothers me. Now, some games require most controls, and it doesn't really support. You know button controller it's usually just like uh you know like the game requires like if you're hitting a tennis racket or something but with a lot of games like let's say mario party i think mario party can majority be played with a controller in my opinion but a lot of games that's a big pet peeve of mine when games do not support pro controller it's just like why like some of those really random eShop games that are not nintendo it's like yeah. they only support joy cons it's like why uh do you see anything there oh uh, yeah what do you, did, did you find Skyward Sword? I'm looking at it, yeah. Did you scroll to the bottom where it says like all the information? I, I'm looking at it. It nope. says it says TV mode. It says tabletop mode. It says handheld mode. It says is, absolutely nothing about a pro controller. Is there a picture of Joy Cons? Do you see the picture of Joy Cons? And uh, tabletop mode, and then it says TV mode, which is just the TV and the the dock. Interesting. Interesting. Now, hold on. I want to read down here to make sure. I'm going to read the rest of it. Okay. Well, we will wait in silence while you read. Uh, we don't have to wait in silence. <laughs> wait. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. Right here. Okay, right here we here. go. Live. What do you read? Supported controllers. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Thank God. So this whole segment was a waste of time. It's not. It's not. <laughs> because here's my... Okay, now here's my question. Okay, what's the why, question? Why, why, why is it that they have let that go everywhere else? They don't mention a damn pro controller. They don't say it anywhere else. Anywhere else, they haven't. They didn't know. say it in the beginning. It was a big question. I don't know how long that's been there, but I mean, I know this question has been out there for a while. Like, why? Why are they talking about the pro controller? They keep talking about Switch Lite, handheld, this, that. Listen, I love my Joy Cons. Don't get me wrong, I really do. I probably like them more than most people, even with the drift. It doesn't bother me too much because I can replace my own sticks. But here's my biggest pet peeve. Why doesn't every game support button controls with a controller? Pro controller specifically. Specifically, Why do why some games just have no support for it? That yeah, really makes me upset. Like, more, you, you more upset you, than you're most. You're referring to Mario Party is what you're referring well, to. Well, I mean, that's an example. But I do understand Mario Party, why it doesn't support uh, pro controller. But... Yeah, the mini games. It's the mini games. Yeah, the mini games. They, they I understand. Want to have the it same makes me upset with the mini games. Makes me upset, but I understand it with that game specifically. But there are other games where I download like some of these one dollar eShop games that are crap. Holy by the way, crap, man! But they don't support Pro Controller. Like, Dude, what is I, going I'm on with so this? happy right now. I don't think you understand how happy <laughs> I am right now. I've been so worried about this thing not supporting. Like, 
I was like, dude, are they really going to do this? Are My, they really going to do this? Yeah. They're going to they're going to put this game out and be like, oh, you can play in docked mode, but only with motion controls. A big worry of mine is that the 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 button controls as they're calling it are going to suck. Like that's my uh, worry. It's going to be weird to use the sticks as the sword. Yeah. And and you're probably going to have to press something up here to hold and then you're going to use this as the shield too. Which means if you're using this as the shield, holding this, that means you're going to have at some point you're not going to be able to move side to side because you're going to be holding down to bump with your shield. Yeah. It's going to get weird. Yeah, I'm really concerned about that, if I'm being honest. I, I, I was thinking about it the other day. Like, I am really excited to play this game, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know if these controllers are going to make me happy, especially on stream when I'm trying to, like, just play the game and listen to the story. I, I don't want to have to be, like, upset and bothered with, like, oh, I didn't hit the right way with the stick. Like, I just want to hit A and smash. Yeah, you know, I, like, I that's think all I'm I just going to do motion controls anyway. I might. I might. We, we will see. We, we will see when that, I don't, when I don't that know. goes. God, that's, that's huge. That's okay, so good. huge. Game I'm, so glad, I'm so glad I looked at chat and they said it's in the eShop. That is literally the one place I didn't look because I was doing all the research on my computer. Yeah, yeah. And I, I knew, I was like, I know it's still a question. Obviously, this question's been answered at some point that I didn't realize that they put that up there, but it's yeah. so weird because you go to their website on both sites, neither of them say anything about the Pro Controller. Not one word about a pro controller throughout the entire thing. Isn't that strange? That Especially strange. when they say it's your you can pick your way to play in yeah. handheld mode with the controls or with motion controls. <laughs> like, okay, but there's more, there's other ways to play. Why aren't you talking about those other ways? Anyway, that's great. That's very strange that they don't say anything about that. Yeah. But Whatever that 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 controversy's over. Well, I'm glad cool. I'm glad that's an open and shut case. <laughs> good, good news. That that's actually really good news. Yeah, it's very good news. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, I mean, that, that covers that. We're done. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. With, we're done with that. Uh, I think we have something pretty exciting here. Up next. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we were talking about uh, Nintendo. Obviously, had another investors meeting. And they, they kind of said some things, but at the same time, they didn't. <laughs> they said things. But what at the same do you time, mean? But at the same time, they just said, they just said stuff, really. <laughs> I mean, there's a few things that, there's a few things they said, which we'll cover later. But I, I think, I think we've taken some of the stuff that they've said. And I think we're going to have a little bit of fun with that. Jeep, do you want to, do you want to go ahead and tell us about what we're going to do here? Yeah, uh, some of you in the stream may know that we started late, uh, and that is for a good reason this week. Uh, Drip and I were doing our pre-podcast prep. We usually do that way earlier in the day, but today we, just, we both had a busy schedule, so we did decide to do it before the podcast. And otherwise, we would have been ready to go on time. But Drip had this amazing idea. It was like, what if we play a game? And I'm like, I mean, that'd be great, but what game? Games so, are great. So I was more games on our podcast. <laughs> yes, so I was tasked with and you guys can play along at home as well uh i was tasked with creating a game from the uh can we do one, uh F furukawa uh what's his first name shintaro furukawa shintaro furukawa <laughs> sorry no. for butchering that uh that's right i didn't I got all his right. from the questions he was asked and his responses we've created a game uh with those questions and answers and uh let's because of now hold on tell yeah. them where we got the idea for where the original idea for the game came from I there was a comment there's a comment oh yeah yeah yeah. yep there was a comment in uh nintendo was it nintendo life uh, article yes and the nintendo life article that actually had all I can, stuff let, let me pull up this nintendo life article real quick for the people on the stream uh let's go ahead and just scroll down to the bottom where uh, after all this is, is done with here there is a, qu uh, a, a response here where is it um Oh, here we go. It's Rob three thousand eight. I mean, that's not it. Uh, that, well, I mean, he did. Uh, Rob did say, "How how can so many words say so little?" <laughs> that was one. But where was the actual? I didn't even think to find that exact comment. It's not even here anymore. Uh, but anyway, there was a comment in this chat. Do you remember what, exactly what that person said? He said, "If these were uh, Jeopardy." If these were questions on Jeopardy, nobody would know the answer. Right. Like, no, nobody would know. The way they do Jeopardy is they ask the question, 
or they 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 give the answer and the answer is the question what is this they <laughs> right. said if these answers were jeopardy questions like no one would ever ever be able to figure out what they're talking about because it's so bland and so just yeah it's just it's just corporate speak and it's hilarious so do you want to go ahead and explain the game that's I, where we got the idea from i would like to introduce to everyone listening and watching Urakawa Jeopardy. Uh, and this is totally not just a Google Doc spreadsheet. Don't worry about that. This is totally a real game that I didn't just make in a half hour before the podcast. Uh, the way the game works, and uh, I am your host, Uncle G, for this game show, and with me is the contestant, Mr. Drip Media Gaming. And I'm thinking about adding some music in here. We'll see if I do that. <laughs> Man, Jeopardy music would be cool. Do, I don't know. I don't do, think we can do, do that. Do, do. Yeah, Uncopyrighted right. oh, stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but so the way the games work is there are four answers: answer one, answer two, answer three, and answer four. All four answers have been answered by Mister Furukawa himself. Uh, now they have been power. They have not been paraphrased. These are actual words that came out of his mouth in order, but they have been either shortened, or uh, they've been short. Some of them have been shortened. Uh, like these are not the full response. Basically, some of these are censored if you will to to prevent key information being uh, to be give, to give away the answer we don't want to give away the answer we want this to be somewhat difficult but also easy you know fun but these are his actual words i did not replace any words i did not add any words or, uh, i did subtract some in some cases but otherwise these are these are the words that he has said himself and then there are four uh you can still see that okay then there are four questions question a question b question c and question d drip the task that you are have to you have to do here is you have to align the answers with the questions. So, for example, if you think answer one goes with question A, you're gonna say I think question one goes with answer A or whatever the you know whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead God, and this let's... is gonna be absolutely yeah uh, a debacle. But so I'm gonna go I'm ahead. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna yeah, do yeah. my best. I'm gonna make this big so I can actually read it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start with answer one, and then I'm gonna read all four questions. And okay. you're gonna you're gonna give me A, B, C, or D as far as the question that goes with answer one. So okay, all right. starting so you're with you're gonna read it all to me, and I'm, I will. I'm gonna and yes. I'll, okay, and we're not gonna know how if I'm right or wrong until the end, right? Uh, yeah, actually, I will keep. Yeah, I'm gonna have a pen and paper here, and I'm gonna keep track of of what you say right here on my pen and paper. So because you have the actual answers, I do have the answer key okay. right here okay. on, on a right, physical piece of paper. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm all excited. right, chat, play along at home. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, answer one. Quote, although we can't necessarily fulfill everyone's desires with the various elements we have decided uh, on, e on for each game spec, I appreciate your input on the matter. Is that answer, <laughs> is that answer the, is, is that answer go with question A, are they, are there, uh, are there any plans under consideration to make improvements to the Nintendo Switch online service at a price point higher than it currently is? B, the uh, question B, the possibility of a mini, uh, the possibility of mini consoles. Oh my God, I have no question idea. Question C, what Furukawa thought on the E3 2021 Switch Pro rumors, or question uh. D, Furukawa on the subject of gender issues, which yes, they got Wait, into. Wait, hold that. on, what? They got into that. <laughs> <laughs> these are copy and paste. I didn't read the whole thing. Once we decided, just so you guys know, I stopped reading. Once we figured out that this was going to yeah. be a fun thing, I looked away from everything. All I know is the quotes I needed for what we're going to talk about after this. Okay, I know those now. Can you read the, the answer one more time yes. to me and I'll make my guess? Yes. Answer. Although we can't necessarily fulfill everyone's desires with the various elements we have to decide for on each game spec, I appreciate your input on the matter. What was the question? Holy crap. Are there any plans under consideration to make improvements okay, I'm gonna go with, on the uh, Nintendo Switch Online service one, at any price point higher than a question currently Question one, or answer one goes with question A. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Answer one, question A. That's what you say? So you're saying... Yeah. And I'm uh, covered chat, so I can't see yeah, the yeah, chat's yeah. answers either. Are there any plans under consideration to make improvements on the Nintendo Switch Online service at a price point higher than it currently is? That, dude, that's the only thing I can even come close to. I have no idea. Okay, all right. I will. It is so bland. If you're listening, like, on, if you're listening on the audio podcast, make sure to rewind 
Uh, I, I may even put timestamps in so you can rewind to each when I say each question. I'll see about, I'll see if I can put that in. But otherwise, go ahead and rewind to read if you can hear answer one and et cetera. So answer right. one goes with uh, number with the first, with A. I'm with not going to tell you if yeah. you're right or wrong yet. We're going to move on. Yeah, don't tell me yet. All right, here we go. Answer two. This is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Answer two. We believe that it's important not just to add new customers, but to keep existing ones as well. That's why we are working to make the Nintendo Switch more fun and convenient to use ele elevating the appeal of the service. Is that the answer to question? I'm gonna I'm just gonna we're gonna go with B and C D, okay? Is that sorry, the question wait. To one more time, one more time. I'm sorry, I was sidetracked. Yes. I'm sorry, I was sidetracked. It was important. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go, again. Ahead. go ahead. Uh answer, I'm gonna so you've already gone with answer A, so I'm not gonna read that anymore, okay? So right. A's out of the question. A's out of the question. I'm not allowed to use that. Correct. So these all are for like there's no doubles. No doubles. Okay, okay. We believe that it's important not just to add new customers, but to keep existing ones as well. That's why we're working to make the Nintendo Switch more fun and convenient to use by elevating the appeal of the service. Is that question B, the possibility of the classic mini consoles? Question C, what Furukawa thought of the E3 2021 Switch Pro rumors? Or question D, Furukawa on the subject of gender issues. Oh my God. Dude, I have no idea. I tried to make these not too difficult. I kind of want to change my answer now because I want that to be A. We can switch at the I end. Think, we'll switch I, at the I, end. Okay, okay. Give us, well, give us an answer. I think answer. that's what it is, but if it's not that, it's got to be that. That's what it's got to okay, be. Okay, I'll switch, I'll switch it for you. Uh, I'm going to cross it's out. It's got to be. Okay, so you're going with... We'll keep, we can keep doubles. We're just going to keep with doubles, okay? We're keeping okay. with doubles. So your it's answer a. to question one and question two is both a that's a yeah both it is. a okay because i yeah it's still the first question i have no idea where it goes other than <laughs> a so I, I don't know yeah sure that one's a too they're both they're both or question both question one yeah yeah a, i'm sorry answer, answer one. one and answer two are both question a, a. okay a. got it you're obviously wrong on one of them but that's okay we're gonna move on uh, i have to be but who knows man like i don't <laughs> i should have not even told you that because we could have kept that possibility open that would have added more fun to this whole yeah, thing. I could have, I could have put a we're fake still, question in. Yeah. <laughs> we're still working through. Oh, and I have, I already have my game for you next week. It's going to be hilarious. Awesome. All right. Wait. Answer three. We will con and don't, by the way, chat people don't ignore that. It's red. It's not red. You're just colorblind. Uh, answer three. We will yeah, continue to totally consider true. how to co convey their appeal to new generations. I'll repeat that. Answer three. We will continue to consider how to convey their appeal to new generations is that uh, i gotta scroll here is that the answer is that question b the possibility of classic mini consoles question c it's what d furukawa thought of the e3 2021 switch pro rumors or question d furukawa on the subject of gender issues it's got to be d three it's got to be goes with d yeah it's okay gotta it's got to be Okay, and finally, answer four. We conduct Nintendo Direct presentations to give our customers information about each product at the appropriate time. I will repeat. We conduct Nintendo Direct That's presentations to give our customers information about each product at the appropriate time. Okay, that's it definitely uh, Switch Pro Rumors. That's C. That's C. It's got to be. It's got to be. Uh, I'll what tell you for... what, though. He's good. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> He's very good because he says so much and nothing at the same time. All right. That's amazing. All right. Now I'm going to give tell you... me I do that in my videos. Now, those actually. of you at home and you, Drip, I'm going to give you a chance to switch your answers by relaying the... I'm going to say the question and then the answer that you gave. And you can, you're going to say if you agree with your own statement or you want to change it. So... Example, or not example, Here, here's your answer one, you said goes with A. Answer one, I'm sorry, question A is, there are, are there any plans under consideration to make improvements to the Nintendo Switch online service at a price point higher than it currently is? And you're, you said the answer was, although we can't necessarily fulfill everyone's desires with the various elements that we have to decide for each game spec, I appreciate your imp input on the matter. Would you like to change that? That's the one I did double, right? That's correct. 
Okay, I want to put that one with B for the mini classic. With I think B. if I do that, I think I've got them all right. Okay. All right. Answer all right, question A. I'm good. The rest of them, I'm good. Well, we're going to go through them. We're just going to go through them once, okay, once more. We'll go through them. Question A. Are there any plans or, or considerations? I just read that. Uh, improvements on Nintendo yeah. Switch Online servers at a price point higher than it currently is. You said it was the answer is A, although we can't necessarily... Wait. Oh, yeah. Those are the same... Answer two. No, yeah. you say answer two. Answer two. Whatever. Maybe I won't read them again. I've confused myself already. <laughs> yeah. I've got my answers now. I just wanted to check right. You gave me a chance to fix. I fixed the one. I think I have them all right. I think I do have them all right. Okay. I will say you have two correct and two what? wrong. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. I'm I got not, some wrong? I'm going to answer. No I'm, I'm going to do the, cor I'm gonna do the <laughs> correct order. Here's the correct order, okay? Question, and we're going to start with question D. Furukawa, on the subject of gender issues, was answer one. Although we what? can't, Although we can't necessarily fulfill everyone's desires with the various elements we have to decide for each game spec, I appreciate your input on the matter. Yeah, yeah. But wow. <laughs> wow. All he right. Me. I pulled the I wool did. right over my eyes on I that did. one. I did. I did. Wow. <laughs> Uh, all right, so next up is question uh, A. Question A, uh, are there any plans under consideration to improve? I'm, so, I'm tired of reading that one. I've read it like 14,000 times. Uh, the Nintendo Switch point, but higher price, point, pr higher price point. That would be answer two. We believe that this is important, and, and you got that one correct. Okay, all right, all right. We believe that's important not just to add new customers, but keep existing ones as well, et cetera. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's talking about adding people to a service. I figured that's that was kind of the gimme. That was yes. the, like, here, here's your free answer. I knew that one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Question B. Uh, you got incorrect. You said it was, you said it was D. So, okay, here we go. So, question B. The possibility of uh, uh, classic nin mini consoles. The answer is three. We will continue to consider how to convey the appeal to new generations. You got that one incorrect. Could have been the answer to any one of those questions. <laughs> <laughs> you said that was gender issues. <laughs> I, it made a little bit of sense. I mean, hey, I don't know. And then here we Why go. Why the hell were they talking about that? <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, and then here we go. Uh, question C, what Furukawa thought on the E3 2021 Switch Pro rumors? You got correct. The answer is C. Okay. Uh, we will continue to consider how to convey the appeal to new... Wait. Uh, answer four. I'm sorry. Answer four. We conduct Nintendo's direct, uh, Nintendo Direct presentations to give our customers information about each product at the appropriate time. You got that correct. Okay. So I, he fooled me. Twice. He fooled me. Um. I will say it's very funny. Okay, so I got a 50%. I you, fail. You did. I fail. Did you fail? Uh, I don't know if you failed. To I these, mean, if to you these, get a 50%, that is an F. That, I mean, in, in our game, though, it, I, made it, I made it a little bit difficult, but I will say you did. That's not, no, that's you, the thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it could have been any of them. It's so funny yeah. because, like, any one of those almost, except for one. There was only one I was like, oh, it's de he's definitely talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, okay. Anyway. It, I had to shorten these to not only make it readable and not repetitive, uh, but I, I shortened them to make hilarious. it difficult. Yeah. All right. Okay, I, I thought I had them all right. I was like, oh, I definitely got them all right. I think I got it. Like, it's, he didn't make it as hard as I thought he was going to make it. <laughs> all uh, right, guys. Well, thanks for playing Fur Cow with Jeopardy with Uncle Jeeb. Uh, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Good <laughs> Lord, man. You made that. I did not expect that. I did not expect that to be that difficult. And it definitely was. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Okay. So now that I am completely just, uh, <laughs> when you told me I got two wrong, man, I was like, I shouldn't, lying have, I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> just keep that to myself. Like, I got two wrong. Like what? No way. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about what was actually said about this switch pro. So yeah. yesterday, uh, Everybody came out and said that, you know, with the Google translations and stuff, uh, that Furukawa pretty much said he just acknowledged the fact that there was a Switch Pro and couldn't talk about it. 
Now, it looks like some of that has been pulled back a little bit today because I'm not seeing that anywhere today. I'm seeing more of the, hey, this is what it is. Things are happening, but, you know, we can't really just go and talk about this right. That's pretty much what's said. Uh, Here's the thing. This is what I want to go with 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 the the Switch Pro part of this. I don't want to take a ton of time on the Switch Pro part of this because I'm sick of talking about the Switch Pro. Agreed. Last year, the investors asked them a very, very similar question to what was asked uh, the other day. And it was about a Switch Pro. Uh, This year, they asked, like, hey, like everybody said there's going to be a Switch Pro at E3, and there wasn't, and the stock price went down, which it did. and they, they at this year they said, well, we can't really, you know, we can't really talk about things like that. You know, we have this and that going on. We're doing this, all this stuff. They're saying we can't talk about it, which is exactly the opposite of what they said last year. Last year, their investors asked them, hey, is there a Switch Pro? And they said, we are not releasing new hardware in 2020. And they... did not release new hardware in 2020. That's the thing. This is what we need to take away from all this. This is the bottom line of all of this. And this is kind of going to take us into the next thing I want to talk about, which I think is a way more interesting topic than the Switch Pro at this point. Uh, Nintendo is not going to lie to their investors. These are the people giving them money. These are the people who are, you know, these these people matter. They'll lie to us. We don't matter. <laughs> they will lie to us all day. They are 100% not going to lie to the people who are in these these shareholder investors meetings. They're not going to do it. But they will, however, dance around questions and drop tiny little hints or easter eggs to make it, you know, just to make it like, "Hey, we can't say anything, but mm, I don't know. You better, you know, you better watch out. I don't know." But they're not going to lie. So when you look at this, what we got last year, we are not putting out new hardware in 2020. It's not happening. To the next question being asked about this, like, hey, there was supposed to be a Switch Pro D3, and it wasn't there. And they're like, well, you know, we're going to release some, you know, things will happen at the time they're supposed to happen. It's pretty much what was said. I mean, there, that's not confirmation of a Switch Pro, but I think at this point, I think we're all all in agreement at this point. There's just too much out there. Like it's happening. It's just when, but I think this does give us a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit more confidence that we are going to get this thing this year. I still say this month, man. I, I think, I think uh, July is the month. The end of the month is when we actually see this thing for real. That'd be They're talking uh, about it. I'd have Same to go. Thing. I'm going to be in Delaware at the end of the month. So I'm going to go find like a random shop in Delaware to go buy this thing. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to drop. All you got to do is just go pre-order it. It'll be yeah. fine. They're not yeah. just going to throw it out on the market. I don't think it's going to come out for a while, but I think we're going to see this thing. I think we're going to see it in, in July. I mean, but you guys know my track record with that stuff. So definitely don't believe me. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> I'm not. Trust me. Yeah. I mean, that's that's just what I think. I just think we're kind of, we're there. We're there. But I think the the more important thing Maybe not the more important thing, but I think the the more um, relevant conversation at this point, or maybe maybe just the one that has a little bit more fun to it, the one I'm more interested in, is the fact that uh, one of these investors at this meeting brought up again the idea of a mini system, a classic mini system, like we had with the NES, like we had with the SNES. Uh, I believe he was asking specifically about a Nintendo 64 mini. Hmm. Like that is for me, obviously that's a day one purchase. I want that so bad, but uh, what, what did Nintendo say about that? Let me see if I can pull that up because they asked, it was pretty specific, but I have a few things I actually talked about last night with some of the guys, uh, in the discord. Um, that's not it. I was there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, this is this. I think this was a little bit later. Uh, 
let me find his question here. That's what I'm looking for is the question about here it is. Uh, the possibility of a classic mini console. Yeah, they're referring to the uh, levers. Uh, what? <laughs> I think it's really interesting to have a, a, another mini console like that. I mean, I think it'd be really collectible right now and really cool to have for sure. All right. Well, they, they not answered it. They pretty much not answered it. But again, going back to what I just said about the, uh, the Switch Pro, yeah. they didn't say no. We're not well, doing that. I, that question was in our game. <laughs> okay. The, the mini console Wait, thing what, was in our game. What did they answer? Because I couldn't find it here. What was the answer? <laughs> uh, okay, so mini console was uh, question B, and question B goes to A answer, 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 what it answer was. three. We will continue con to consider how to convey the appeal to new generations. Okay, so there you go. Confirmed. Rumor. <laughs> okay, my point with all this is you're you, – you, you see now when it's not happening it's not happening they say no now does this definitely mean oh we're getting a an n64 mini absolutely not no it does not but it does leave the door open but here's what i was talking about last night especially with that answer that you just gave they're, they're open to looking into how to do this correct yeah so something i brought up last night uh whenever we got the the mario 3d collection with the 64 uh, Mario. Yeah. Now, somewhere in wherever these guys find this stuff, uh, they, they found other 64 games hidden in there. Now, some people were saying, okay, that may just be stuff left over from, from the virtual console, because that's where they're saying that this one originally came from, that they kind of up or whatever, which is possible. But... Do you realize that they, they also found all these N64 games at some point inside the Switch? I'm sorry, not the N64 games. The Super Nintendo games that came to the uh, to the online service. Like All those were found way early. It was literally the same list. And then all of a sudden, they were just gone in the next update. And then when they were ready to come back, they were back in. Hmm. So I think I think, honestly, we could see this go either way. Uh, one big thing I think about when I see what they did with 64 with Mario 64, they didn't change the controls really hardly at all. They didn't add the dual stick controls. You know what I mean? Yeah. So essentially, if they wanted to take that version of that game, which we can't get anymore, right? right. If they wanted to take that version of that game and put it on a classic system, the controls are still in place. There's nothing extra added. It's still the same. It's one stick. All the, you know, the buttons can just be remapped where they need to go. You're still, not, you haven't changed the game in any way. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just made it look a little bit better. Right. So, but at the same time, obviously, you could see that same game show up in the, in the online stuff. Now, which would you rather have? Here's, here's my question to you. Would you rather have, let's say, 15 to 20 64 games on your switch or would you rather have a nintendo 64 mini that is a it's a honestly it's a tough question um i know it is a tough question it. uh look i i want i want more stuff to be on the Nintendo online service. Like no doubt I, I want too. more stuff on the Nintendo online service. Uh, this question though, uh, do you want to repeat your question? Cause I have, I've, I've answered, but I want you to repeat it one more time. The question is, would you rather see 15 to 20 N64 games on a mini classic system that you buy separately for however much money with undisclosed amount of controllers that come with it? Because you know, you got to remember this too. The 64 could plug in four controllers. Right. I don't think it's going to come with four controllers, but I'm saying like maybe if they sold them separately, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. would be fun. Or you get those same games dropped for our online service on the Switch. Which would you rather see? A physical 64 mini or just those games on your Switch? One of those options cost me money. One of those options is already included in the money I already spent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One gives me a collectible. One gives me yep. more functionality in my Switch. 
Yeah, it's tough. It's, very it, tough. it's an incredibly tough question. Uh, the way you proposed it to me earlier on before we uh, po- uh, did the podcast was specifically, your, was it your idea or was that based off of facts somewhere? Uh, the, the specific mini console that you had in mind that you told me was that based off fact or that was your? Oh opinion? no, I just made that up. Just I mean, I've heard. I mean, I, I'm not the originator of the idea, but yeah, I mean, right. So it's I, just... ha- yeah, I have serious nostalgia for the uh, the Game Boy Advance, the okay. original Square. I, okay, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so here's so, what I said. Let me let me go and explain what I said. Let's say let's say it's not. Let's let's just get the 64 out of the way and say it's something else. Let's just say maybe they actually are going to give us some games and there's been talk, there's been talk that we could get Game Boy games. Yeah. But what if we just get a 1 to 1 Game Boy Advance? It's just a Game Boy Advance, but instead of being able to use cartridges, it's a retro throwback. I mean, it's yeah. in the mini line, but it's not yeah. mini. I mean, you can't get much more mini. Yeah. Or my god. Right. But instead of having a place to put cartridges in, it's got 20 or so preloaded of the best of the best Game Boy Advance games. Right. My answer to your initial question, just any old any old collectible system or get it online for Nintendo Switch online, I think I'd go with online. Just if it's not we don't know what it's So what, you're saying the 64 oh, oh, no, doesn't not, have the nostalgia for you. No, not to for, want that Right, you're that, asking me, and I didn't have a 64. Yes, I'm asking you. Yeah, yes, I didn't I'm have a 64. You. I had friends who had, oh, and I man. played it, oh, but dude. I didn't have one. So, dude, mm, you had a terrible childhood. Obviously, <laughs> I, had, I played one. My friends had one. I had a PS One. That's what I played at home. And but, I, I can imagine you going home after playing that 64, and you were up in your room, and as the raindrops came down the glass <laughs> on your window, you looked out like, dude, man. Here's the thing. I had one of those here. I wasn't a gamer as a kid. This is a different conversation, but I wasn't a gamer as a kid. Like I, that wasn't my. I, I played with toys, PS One every now and again. But I mean, yeah. If you're asking me, do I want to right now as an adult? Do I want a Game Boy Advance? I was a gamer, but man, I I was a gamer. (laughs) Anna, Anna, I was a toy dude. I I was a crazy toy kid. Yeah, crazy toy kid. Star Wars. Yeah, action figures. Stupid, like ridiculous, (laughs) dude. Ridiculous. I had the Millennium Falcon. I had all the X Wings, the TIE Fighters, dude. Yeah. Every single figure in every single outfit for whatever situation we may be in. Cause I mean, you can't put Luke Skywalker in his regular, you know, white tunic on Endor. <laughs> like, obviously, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. He has to be in the green with the helmet. Like, right. Duh. Yes. I, I know what you mean, but yeah, I made I, time for video games. I didn't play many vegans, but I did have an, a Game Boy Advance. And the answer to that question, as far as what I want the Game Boy Advance retro console re-release or Nintendo, Nintendo Switch Online, uh, no, 100%. Game, give me that Game Boy Advance one-to-one scale. That, I think that's that would I be want. a really cool... Like, that's that's like Game & Watch level only, like, way above. Like, that would be so much cooler than a Game & Watch. It'd be so cheap for them to produce. Like, there are so many... Like, all the how cheap it is to produce that 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 stuff nowadays is crazy. You can buy aftermarket yeah, shells for like, 10 bucks for do? Christ's sake. You could even up the stuff slightly and put a nice screen on it just to make yeah. it look a little sharper, a little yeah. better. Like, mm-hmm. that would not be an issue. It would probably still be 50 bucks. They would charge 100 for it, but it would probably still be 50 bucks. Uh, I'd say like, it's probably be... I, I, if I had to guess what they charge, something like 69, that. 69 99 I, Yeah, I'm, I'm in that area. Yeah. 70 bucks. 69. 70 bucks. 69. You dirty <laughs> mind, Jeep. Three, three meals dirty, in. I told you. Dirty old man. Bruh, uh, <laughs> you're dirty old man. I had more mule. I spilled mule on myself. That was dumb. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> but yeah, fine. no. The, give you, me that, you didn't need it anyway. You didn't need no, it anyway. Give me that Game Boy Advance. Uh, other, any other retro console? For, uh, maybe, but probably I'd rather it on my Switch because I already have it. Does it cost, cost, cost me extra money? And I mean, it gives more, gives me, gets me to play my Switch more, which I mean. Okay, so so you're down. saying like if if the next one you'd rather have the game? I I'm honestly, I'm torn because I'd like to have the Game Boy Advance games. Just honestly, just because I'm selfish and there's Zelda games on there I haven't played, and I know if that comes, then I have yeah. those Zelda games, either in a really cool little form factor or on my Switch. Let me just say this real quick: I want another Nintendo handheld console, not a not a retro remake. I want an entire another handheld console from Nintendo because I actually made a video months ago on my YouTube. About I remember it. The 3DS I video. I, I still stand by that. They can, they can make the 3DS better 
than it currently stands as an as a discontinued product. They Here's- could recontinue it, produce it again, up give us better screens. Forget the three D. I love the three D, but forget about it. Just just forget about it for 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 price sake. Forget about it. Give us really nice, crisp, t- at least like seven twenty or ten eighty p screens on the device itself. Clamshell device like Nintendo can make another hand. Yeah, the Switch is a is a good hi- the, the Switch anymore. is a good hybrid. It's a great hybrid actually. It's a great hybrid. But wouldn't you like something just like just completely portable that's not at all related? We we discussed this last night too after you left. Let me bring this up to you. This is actually pretty interesting. I I believe uh Hero mentioned this and we kind of ran with it from there. Could you could you see at some point maybe the switch line branching off from maybe whatever I, I think this is kind of where we went. It, it was a little bit different. I can't remember exactly what we talked about, but a, a branch of two handhelds, one hybrid, one not, more like the Switch Lite, but that going and kind of being what the Switch is now, and then the Switch 2 becoming what what's closer to what we see now with you know next gen stuff going more that way and then keeping this kind of as another line like that yeah but changing it slightly to be something like what you're saying yeah because that's another thing i hadn't brought up and we need to go back on it real quick because i do want to touch on it Uh, there, there have been developers that have told nintendo at this point like listen we're not going to do this. We're not going to put all this money into porting these games to your system if you're not going to make it powerful enough for us to get them over to it. It's too much work for us to to put all this money into getting them over to this underpowered system. Like, you, ha- you have to do this or we're just not going to do it. Right. They're starting to get ultimatums. I, I don't think we live in the world... Uh, I said this last night too. I don't think we live in the world anymore where Nintendo can take established um, technology and do fun things with it and be successful. I think they can do that to a degree, but at this point, they're going to lose the support of the people who are making the games because they don't want to have to go back so far. And another thing to think about, when the Switch was being developed, there are completely different people in charge at Nintendo than there were at that point this is a whole different like not a whole different nintendo but there are different people at the top at this point who may have different ideas about where to take the company in the future but when you think about it we haven't really got to see where that direction is yet because we've been in this in the switch's life cycle you know what i mean we're yeah. still inside this the, the switch you know the lifespan yeah. So we're not really going to see that until the next generation of the Switch. Maybe the Switch 2. Maybe we start to see some of it in the Switch revision, but I think that's going to tell a big story, honestly. I think that's going to really show where the, the high-ups and the people in charge are at when it comes to either pushing forward or really falling behind again. Because that's pretty much their options at this point. They're either going to go well above where they are now or they're going to try to do another tiny increment and they're going to get completely left behind. Yeah. With the yeah. ultimatums we're seeing now, like like developers are coming out and saying like we we just we can't. Like it, it's too much. That the, the two things are so far away from each other at this point. Yeah. Like why do it? I th- I think uh, as long as this current switch is still the main console, I think it's going to have no problems. We're, we're this switch is this switch as it stands is going to sell great even like yeah, two yeah. years right now if they right just, now yes yeah. if they decided two years from now to continue this system i think they'd start to see a dip and and they definitely they definitely would start to see a decline in ports for sure if they keep the same oh, yeah. hardware well, two years down the line i well, think, I mean, think they about have it. to release to, we're starting a, to see it yeah we we're have seeing, to like, see the another guardians revision. of the galaxy games coming but yeah. it's coming on the cloud we need to see a revision of the switch within the next year if we don't yeah, see it I mean, and nintendo's I, gonna go back on that downward trend well i don't think they'll make the same mistake because they did it with the wii the wii they did it with the wii and it was i think that i think what they did with the wii set them up for how bad the wii u was because yeah. what they did was they had the wii they had this big successful thing that was just blowing up everywhere everybody had a wii everybody 
Weeds were flying off the shelves, and they just let it go. They were like, yeah, man, just count the money. We're good. Count the money. Count the money. And then there was that, whenever it was, where it went up, it stayed like this, and it went down. They did no revision. They they didn't do anything until later, after it started to go down. Then they put out the, whatever it was, the Wii Mini or something. It, just, it was just a Wii, a bare-bones Wii with no internet. It had like a open top. It was cheap. Oh. Yeah, it was like the black and red one. I don't even remember what it was, but that was a, a sorry excuse at that point for anything. It was just a bare bones. Take everything out of it. It cost. I don't even remember what it cost. It was cheap. It was they, very cheap. So their answer to make the to help the Wii live more, they gave you a less. They were already capable. The thing, Wii. They weren't helping. They weren't helping to to make it live more at that point. They were trying to hold on to what they had, and then all of the. Uh, uh, there it is. It's the Wii Mini. It's called the Wii Mini. Anyway, yeah, it was a bare bones Wii. So by that point, by that point, the Wii had died. The Wii had died. And then yeah. they come out like, oh, now we have the Wii U. And the marketing was so confusing. I'll admit, because I had a Wii at the time, and I, I was off the I was off the train too. We're done. We're done with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Done. When the Wii U came back around, I didn't even know it was a thing. Until I saw it, and I was like, okay, it kind of looks, is it the same thing? Is it a new control? I don't, I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at here. I really had to do some research to be like, oh, okay, it's a new system. Like, <laughs> someone, someone um, who is, you know, not as much then. I wasn't into video games as much then, no. But someone who is into video games should not have that much trouble trying to figure out what the hell you're selling. Right. Their marketing, no doubt, was, 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 they failed at their marketing. With oh, the Wii they U. failed completely. No one's going to argue they, that point. Yeah. And I, I don't, I, my whole point of that entire conversation there is they're not going to make that mistake again. They've been down that road. They've, they, they're smarter than that. They're not going to do that again. They are going to put out a new, better version of what we have now. And it's going to come, we're, we're in the area now where it's like, you have, you've pushed this about as far as you're going to push it. You're going to start, you know, I mean, they're, they're on top right now, but we're about to start. We're going to see the leveling. You know what I mean? Yeah. The pandemic really kind of accelerated yes. the height, oh, the height, man. the height wow. of the switch got accelerated by an extra whole, probably 365 days. Like just like the, the pandemic really yeah. made that, the, 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 that peak of that chart where the switch is at its high point. It made, it made that peak keep stay up there. And, yeah, and, and we're getting to the, we're getting to the point now where it, it could start to fall and maybe it is as I, i'm not looking at a chart but uh, it's not it's not but it will soon soon, soon. it's going it's going too soon. soon there's too much talk about it now if we that's another thing too like just in the public eye if we keep going on and going on and going on with this switch pro coming soon oh we all want to switch pro we all want to switch pro if they yeah. don't do it soon people are just going to stop caring yep. they're gonna be like okay well the switch pro thing's not a thing like you know, everyone's going to get really excited for it, and it's just never going to happen. They have to do it soon. Yeah. It's got to be something that happens relatively soon because, like I said, we're going to start getting to that point soon where it's like, man, this thing is on fire, but how much further can it go without another yeah. kick in the ass to throw it up even further? I don't want to go any more on this particular subject because I feel like this is touching a little bit of a future podcast idea we think we have. I, yeah, you're right. And it kind of sets it up nice. But I mean, yeah. that's kind of where I'm at on it. I think, I, I, I think just the fact of what we got from that investors meeting, the fact that they did not say outright that neither of these things are coming, that I, I, you know, whether or not we get the mini anything or anything extra on the online this year is up in the air. But I think the Switch Pro. I'll, I'll stick to it. Yeah. It's coming this year. And I mean, it's, it's literally any day. I think any yeah. day, like it could literally be any day at this point that we could just see this thing show up. I, I think like, that here it is. I the release date. If it's coming in 20, if it's coming, uh, if we're going to hear about it in 2021, we're going to hear about, uh, hear about it by September. I think that, 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 I think, I think by September, if it's after September, if, it, if no, we got, I if think, we've gotten after September and we still haven't heard about it, you, I, that, it's that not happening. Sense. It's not happening this year. I'm telling you, tell you right now. Ugh. If we're already in July, Maybe we have October. July. Maybe. We're, we're currently but in July. Why? We have August. And if it doesn't come by the by probably mid-September even, 
We're not get. I'm not. I'm not talking about Zelda Direct or I'm not talking about Nintendo Direct. I'm just saying. You're talking about just talking, that, s- announcing the Switch Pro yeah. and saying it's coming out for holiday 2021. The same can be said for Zelda Direct. If we're if, if we don't hear anything by September, it's not happening. Mid mid September, if we don't hear if we don't hear any news from the Nintendo by mid September, we're not getting anything, anything new. We're we're just not. And I also had. Uh, not not to keep this going any further, but I do want to mention this. I also had this other thing where I'm starting to think like it's very possible that they have just said, okay, it's coming, but Breath of the Wild got delayed. Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed because of the pandemic. And this thing, you know, we have everything ready to go. We can start manufacturing whenever we want, but we're setting this up to come out with Breath of the Wild 2. Which, I think that's still a possibility as well. I think that's a possibility as well. But I, I think that's where we can end it. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I think um, I think all the options we gave tonight are at least uh, possible. None, none of them yeah. are too far out there. Yeah. Uh, well, it's probably coming next month. We'll probably yeah, see it next month. For sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's podcast. For those of you in the stream, we're not done. Stick around and we'll get to any of your super chats in just a second. For those of you listening uh, on the audio version of this podcast, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for now. Don't forget to follow the Dribbin' Jeep YouTube uh, channel for the live video format of this podcast. And make sure to tune in every Friday at 930 Eastern uh, for the stream of this uh, podcast. You can check out uh, Uncle Jeep. Uh, me, Uncle Jeeb, on twitch.tv slash Uncle Jeeb. And you can also check out Drip Media Gaming at twitch.tv slash Drip Media. Uh, again, thank you guys, all the patrons and Drip's members of his YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, we could not do this up without you guys. Really appreciate uh, really appreciate the support. Uh, and thank you guys for listening. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Later on. Out. Out. And actually, let's right, actually and cut it. And let me end the audio real quick. Yep. But, Done. Uh, All right. All uh, right, chat. What's up, guys? Chat, Thanks for hanging out. Chat, I Thanks have to pee. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I have to pee. I'm leaving you with this guy. This guy over here. Run back. That's all right, Jeep. All right. What's going on, guys? What's up? Uh, were there any super chats? I think the only super chats we got were actually before. Were there any that I missed? Uh, no, we talked about it. Mega Void says the eShop officially says Switch Pro Controller. I'm glad you threw that in there, man. It's literally the only place I didn't look. But my thinking on that was I'm looking on their website and all that information is like right there on the website. Like it looks like the same setup as it does on the eShop, but that part just wasn't on the website earlier when I looked at it. So I was like, this is very strange. This is really, really weird. Uh, oh, Mega <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. <laughs> Mario Golf DLC fund, dude. Oh man, it's funny because it's gonna be free. It's it's not DLC. It's just the rest of the game. But I appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Tonight, tonight we split the super chats. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but I, I actually we cut these in half. So thank you. All all of that goes not directly to me. It also goes. To the other man over here as well. So we both appreciate it very much. Thank you, Adam. I, saw, I just saw it. Appreciate you. Uh, there was another question I saw up here. Uh, we're good on Super Chats. It was just okay. uh, Mega Boy put one in while I was uh, trying to figure out this Zelda situation, which we just totally opened and shut on the stream or on, on the podcast. <laughs> the one place I didn't look. I kind of feel dumb for not looking on the eShop, but I was on the website, like literally on the website, like on the buying page on the website. Yeah. Nothing. Very interesting that they just leave it. And it's not in any of the marketing. They don't even show a pro controller in the marketing. (laughs) Uh, Samantha, I'm sorry. I I, I had three, three mules had to go. (laughs) Don't leave us with drips. Queen Samus. You just calm, calm yourself. Queen Samus. Uh, uh, just saying Japan had pro controller support and they're direct, but it was cut for some reason. That's so weird. Okay. It was cut. What if it was, what if they weren't going to give it to us? What if they, what if that's something just, we weren't going to get. It's uh, weird that they just didn't say anything about it for the longest time. And then it was just like, Oh no, it's fine. It's here. What are you talking about? Yeah, it is questionable. 
Does Nintendo just not like the Pro Controller? I yeah, maybe. Cassie, that's very possible. Who knows? Maybe maybe they're just like, man, this control sucks. You know, it doesn't suck. The SN30 Pro Plus. No, that doesn't suck. The Pro doesn't Controller suck. doesn't suck either, man. The Pro Controller no, is awesome. It doesn't. I don't think it sucks. <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. <laughs> RIP Pro Controller. Yeah, for sure. It's done. It's over. Uh, Brett says uh, the Pro 2. Yeah. I mean, the Pro 2 is a better SN30 Pro Plus and a better name. <laughs> Yes, much shorter, much it rolls off the tongue just slightly better. Is there any are there any other questions? Cuz honestly guys, I want to just hop into the Discord chat and talk. Yeah. So if you guys don't have any other questions, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh I I will wait a minute just in case. Um while I'm waiting, I do just want to say guys, thank you so much. I saw that uh we, we had pretty steady viewership through the podcast the entire time. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out and uh doing it live with us even if you don't um want to listen to the full podcast again later you should definitely go to your uh podcast streaming service or download service of choice and just download the podcast and if you want you can go on there you can leave us a review a good one would be good yeah i actually great. haven't read any reviews i don't know if there are any reviews uh well there you go you if- could be the first review you could and be. win. I'm gonna open up iTunes right now and nothing, see. Nothing, but if you did it, that would be cool. So I believe only I, I believe you can only review podcasts on iTunes. If I'm, if I'm not I will. Mistaken. I will go back to this though, since I've almost finished this whole beer now. I am not sure if I like this at all. I didn't think you would like it because your faces at the beginning. It looked really like yeah, like stank face on you. Yes, I know. It's like I don't know how to. Exp- I still don't know how to explain it. It's like <laughs> if you had a yingling yeah, okay, and then like accidentally dropped some strawberry flavor in there, but only enough strawberry flavor to like dilute it like ice cubes would. You know what I mean? That's not pleasant. No. And then at the end, it kind of tastes like dirt a little bit, which <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They didn't, wa- like, they didn't wash the strawberries, so all the dirt settled at the bottom. Like, sometimes I'm kind of like, I like that taste. Dirt. Like sometimes I like the taste of dirt. <laughs> not like actual like going and eating dirt but you know what yeah, i mean yeah, like sometimes yeah. when i take like if i'm taking like cbd or something yeah and it's got that dirt flavor at the end i'm like that's how you know it's good that's uh, how you know it's real i want to report that we have ex- exactly zero reviews of the dripping g podcast uh I, if there's one i don't know a lot about podcasts i'm learning but if i do know one thing it's that reviews are incredibly important on apple to be re- recommended and stuff like that. So if you guys care even a little bit about other people, uh, a bigger community to listen to this podcast, go drop a review. Even if you listen to the stream of this podcast, not the actual audio podcast, you can still go leave a review right now on uh, Apple Podcasts. You don't need, all you need is an Apple account to sign in. Other than that, actually, I don't think you need to sign in even. You can just leave a review on Apple Podcasts for the Jimmy Jimmy Podcast. I'm if not- you want to, guys. Go ahead and do it. Please. If not, we ask you, please. it's fine. But yeah, it would be cool if you did it. Anyway, we are going to hop in to the general chat in Discord. Uh, community, community chat. Hari. Hari or any other mod. Mega Boyd's here. Uh, one of you guys, just uh, give, me a, give me a Discord, uh, yeah. Discord link there. Uh, we will be in there literally like right now. I don't know how long we're going to stay in there. So if you want to get in, definitely get in right now. Yeah, and I am ending the stream. Thank you guys again for hanging out. I love you all. Really appreciate it. This will be up live on the other channel uh, sometime tomorrow. Audio version also sometime tomorrow. We'll see you guys later. Bye. See you guys.